So hi, I'm Selena. I'm a junior at Limburg High School, and this is the class that I created. Um, I'm going to be teaching Chinese history, and it's going to be kind of a crash course because there's so much material to cover, but uh, here's an example of what I'll be teaching in the first class. And uh, before I get into the details of what I'm going to do in each class, I'm just going to tell you guys a little story to begin. Okay, so every civilization has their own version of the creation of the world. And in this case, in China, people thought the world used to be an egg, like this, like the one you get out of your, you find in your kitchen. Okay, so before this world was just an egg, there was nothing, a void, and this random egg. And inside this egg, was a creature named Pang Gu, and he was growing. But one day, the egg got too small for him. So he gets out his axe and he goes, and then he breaks the egg. And this is how Pang Gu creates the sky and the earth. This is how he creates the world, essentially. So, yeah. But then, after many years, he thought, you know, this world is so empty. Like, there's nothing here except for me, the sky, and the earth. So what he did was he made his two eyes, the sun and the moon, his hair became the trees, his muscles became the fertile land, and his breath became the wind. And that's how the Chinese believe that this work was created. Oh. And next comes the humans. So every civilization also has their own theory about how humans were created. And in Chinese history, we like to think that this snake lady called Yu Wa made the humans. So she was doing that thing where, you know, you take the clay and you just individually make the humans. And here you go, you have some humans. But, you know, making humans out of clay takes time. It's really slow. And, you know, she's getting bored, okay? You see you see her face right here? She's, she's not happy. She thinks this is way too slow. So, but, but she's smart, okay? She's really smart. So what she does is she gets these two vines, and then she finds a mud puddle, and she starts splashing like this, and the mud droplets become humans. And she's just like, yes, I'm so smart. I found such an efficient way to make these humans. And, you know, a lot of people think that uh, the humans she made out of the mud droplets are like the common people, while the humans she actually spent time on are like the noble men. And yeah, that's, those two are some fun little stories about the creation of the world we live in today. So um, I just now it's time to get into the nitty gritty stuff. Like, why am I doing this? So why should you learn Chinese history? Well, first of all, um, as you guys might know, China is like the second biggest power in the world after the United States. So it's really increasing its presence on the world stage and in the workforce as well. So understanding like an important country is going to be beneficial to your future. And also because it's, it's like 2000 years full of fun stories like this. Like it's super fun. So you should totally learn it. Okay. Like it's, China's been around for 2,000 years. Something interesting happened in between. And these are some of the projects that we will be doing in class. Um, you're going to be making a terracotta warrior out of clay. We're, we will be making our own shadow puppets. And we'll also be learning how to write some interesting ancient Chinese characters. And yeah, thanks for listening, guys. That's the introduction to my class. I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, um, most of the class will actually be uh, just story time. And I draw a lot of pictures like this. Like, you see these little people, like, I, I, I drew those by hand. So, yeah, I'm going to add, like, funny comics to make the stories more fun for you guys. So, yeah, thank you for listening. And I hope you sign up for my class. Well, thank you, Selena. Very good. Yay, 